Well, residents living along the Hawkesbury River near Sydney have told Sky News they've been unable to get to work or attend doctor's appointments because of industrial action by the Maritime Union of Australia. The union blockaded five fixed wire ferry river crossings for up to 24 hours ending today in its fight for a 50% pay rise and better working conditions. People living along the picturesque Hawkesbury River to the north of Sydney endured three major floods in two years and are just starting to get back on their feet. Now ferry drivers and the Maritime Union of Australia are refusing to operate the vehicular ferries for 24 hours, trapping residents on the other side. The round trip from where they've got to go all the way around is about uh, 160 k's. It's ludicrous. And we've got these turkeys come out and said, oh, we're going to kind of shut the the ferries down, shut our road down. It's un-Australian. Due to a lack of bridges, five fixed wire ferries like this one at Wiseman's Ferry usually operate 24 hours a day and are used daily for residents living on the other side of the river to get to work. Like Sharon, who manages the Del Rio Riverside Resort, she says today's ferry shutdown is costing her business thousands of dollars, but she feels more for the staff who miss out on a day's pay. It is dividing our community and it's really sad. We've been through so much in the last few years and it's just another blow that we none of us need emotionally or financially. The MUA wants a 50% pay rise for the ferry drivers but says contractor Burdon is not willing to come to the table. They refuse to negotiate. They don't want to bargain and they certainly don't want to pay anything more than what the law says the minimum is, which is the award rate. We contacted Burdon, who said they couldn't comment and we should ask Transport for New South Wales about it. Transport for New South Wales says Burdon is responsible for the negotiation but will work with both the union and the contractor to help resolve the dispute. Well, they've been held to ransom and what we really need is parties to come together. I know they're talking, but, you know, Transport for New South Wales have a minister called Jo Halen. Now, she's nowhere to be seen here. Transport Minister Jo Halen provided Sky News a statement that said the matter needs to be resolved as soon as possible and that she's asked Transport for New South Wales to get involved in the process. But that looks unlikely any time soon and the union is not ruling out further stoppages. There's one lady over the other side of the river who is due to go into town today to have a, an operation on her eyes and now she's had to cancel that and put that off and it's going to be a couple of months roughly before she can get back in again. Oh, we have a lot of sympathy for those people and the community. Um, don't think we ever wanted to come to this. For the community who rely on these ferries, patience is wearing thin. And we've been through too much, Kenny. We don't need any more of this crap. Kenny Heatley, Sky News, Wiseman's Ferry.